It's It's Tabletop tabletop Time! time. I'm Dave! I'm Jen! I'm Gareth! And I'm Jazza, and we are here to play Resident Evil! That was the weakest chapter. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Resident Evil. He's just that jealous. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. That's pretty good. Mine was a That's little. It was a little cookie monster. I'll work on it. Just that sort of works. Hey, should we do a Muppet episode? Okay. <laughs> All right. I walk down the hallway and <laughs> and I'm a fucking zombie. <laughs> So I shouldn't have sworn right in the first bit of the video. Great, thanks, Dave. You can um, bleep, bleep can I, me out. Can I be animal? It's animal. <laughs> <laughs> You're an animal, Jen. Gareth, if you were a Muppet, you are a bit of a Muppet. <sighs> What's your Muppet? What's your Muppet, Muppet Gareth? <laughs> Swedish chef. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, you start me as a Swedish. No? You're that angry no. Scottish Is one. there a Scottish chef? Yeah, yeah there the, is. The is there a Scottish grandpa's? character in, in Sesame Street? Is there? That's yeah. what I'm thinking. Oh, I love how chapter two of Resident Evil, Stuff we begin by Muppets. discussing the Muppets. <laughs> That's what people signed up for. I don't remember an angry Scottish Muppet. I didn't say he was angry. Oh. Angus, McDo- Angus McGonagall! Oh, there's uh, a- I have never seen You've that. You've never heard of Angus McGonagall? No. I knew that, that name was immediately. I'm going to assume he talks like this. Probably. Well, probably, probably then, because he's Scottish. So if you like more of his nonsense. <laughs> Sonny Jim. We'd like to bring you to some of our cool little communities that we've got going on. So if you love hanging out with us and being part of the community and we love checking out what you've been doing, um, maybe go down to the subreddit, uh, the Tabletop Time Reddit, uh, where we've got a lot of fan art being posted, memes and cool content. And that's one of the stream, like one of the avenues where on Fan Art Fridays, we pull the fan art from to review. It's basically like hanging reviews. around with us at the tabletop. The the best memes are in the Reddit, I'll admit. Oh, hell yeah. Reddit, so I get a, a lot of fan art through Twitter, which is great. And I make a point to uh, to retweet as many as possible. Um, but yeah, like the the Reddit is a home to sort of meme culture. So it's nice. There are some great... Hilarious memes that we see pop up. Did you say something about tweeting? Well, yeah. So on Twitter, which is at Tabletop Time, Mm -hmm. uh, is a great place to tag us if you make fan art, uh, let's say, of the Resident Evil mini campaign (laughs) thingy we're doing, the one shot in three parts. Um, Yeah, we we retweet it so you can get a little bit of attention and receive a little bit of our love and then of course that's also a place where we source images for our fan art fridays which happen every you know month or couple of weeks Mm -hmm. and speaking of hanging out with us um we have a discord we highly recommend you come check it out we are pretty active on there dave is extremely active he lives on there yeah i need to stop (laughs) um but we all kind of we all kind of come on and contribute so we'd love to chat to you guys gives us good feedback um and gets us to know you guys as well what you enjoy and it's been a lot of fun so we'd really appreciate it if you come check it out and you can see king goby if you come to the patreon channels he's an important member of the expanded tabletop time universe uh so you you know if you if you're there you get it it's just an in joke love it Uh, i'm I'm just going to open up the menu and hit continue Load, load game. <laughs> load game. Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm not the, the game. You, you do the game <laughs> things. Cool. We're in. <laughs> Door opens. Camera slides through. <laughs> Tobacco. <laughs> guns. All right. Took our jobs. All right. So, new character. You are in the save room. It's I mean, sorry. Sorry, what did I just say? You're in the save room. No, you're in the office behind the reception room. Yeah. We've gone through the staff room door. and We're in the safe room. Cool. Are you going to push onwards into the front office? Absolutely. Is the door to the reception it's unlocked? It's very slightly ajar and unlocked. Okay, I'm, I'm going to go in. You push it open. Yep. The door clatters across bottles that you push across the ground, that grinding <laughs> bottles getting yeah. pushed across. I feel that was and bad. Uh, immediately in front of the door, there is this like shape of a man slumped in a chair. I've drawn my gun and I whispered it to Noah have you got something to protect yourself son I've got a hunting knife yeah, better it. hope you know how to use it okay I'm gonna pull it out cool and move towards so is the body right next to this board that I'm looking for this it's sort of you have to kind board. of jostle right around he's like leaning right up almost Sorry into where that. the door was you have to kind of jostle around him okay well um, I I've got stealth points. Can I? Are you gonna make a stealth check? Yeah, yeah make sure. a stealth check to get around Great. this body because cool. the last body made me feel very uneasy <laughs> that that lady came alive. So challenge level two. Okay, so I've got stealth. 
Okay. Yeah, five dice. Five dice. Okay. Yeah. That, that number I put next to it is basically... Very helpful, So I don't yeah. have to ask you. Yeah. That's very, very helpful. If it hasn't got anything filled in, it's whatever the attribute adds, mm-hmm. and then base three. Copy that. One. Ooh. As you go around, mm-hmm. you, you're doing okay. pretty well, but your knife actually snags on this guy's dirty blonde long hair that's hanging down from behind and pulls. Okay. And his head yanks to the side <laughs> slightly. He um, And you get a good look at him. And he seems to be rough, like close to 50, kind of weathered looking mm-hmm. with like a rugged and weathered looking vibe. But as you, his hair gets pulled, he goes, <gasps> and his eyes snap open and look towards you. Okay. Um, I raise my knife in preparation for a fight of some type. You raise your knife? Okay, make a combat roll. You don't expect <laughs> well, this. Well, I'm not going to attack I know, attack but this though. is what happens. So, you're going to make a combat roll. I'm going to kill someone. Isn't it? <laughs> you're not attempting to stab him. That's fine. Okay. I understand right. that. So, a combat roll. So, just so you're using a knife. Mm-hmm. Uh, you see those the six you wrote there? Yep. So, that's your, that's your dice pool. So it's the base three plus all your attributes plus the knife, which is the one. Oh, are there any we- are there weapon bonuses like oh, not for a knife? It's no. nil. Yeah. Okay, so you he got five successes. It's an roll. roll. You roll your six dice. So it's your right. di- <laughs> your five dice versus his six successes. So oh, for, f- for five, five out of five successes, five successes. Yep. So how many successes do I need to beat him? Five. Or equal five. Him? five. Yeah, it's an opposed check. Oh, jeez. Three. Yeah. Oh, so not great. he, as you pull, you're ready your knife. This hand shoots up at almost uncomfortable speed, grabs you by the wrist, twists your wrist, and like flings you onto the desk oh. and smashes your face. He doesn't injure you, but he completely dominates you. Throws your face down on the desk. A prosthetic leg, like rattles across the desk and falls down on the other side. And this guy hops up on one foot. His these like blue jeans are clipped on one side. And you notice now the other two that are coming in behind that he's wearing a unbuttoned what you recognise to be a Vietnam War era like jacket. Um, oh. He reeks of alcohol. And uh, yeah, he slims through the table and he's like, "What are you doing sneaking up on me like that, boy?" Well, I'm gonna be like, uh, "Who are you? What are you doing here, uh, sir? Sir, I was just..." Trying to get to this board. You're trying to take my brains. He's with You're us, trying son. trying to take your brains. You're trying to cry You're out. in sleep. I'm trying to get past now you. hold up. The authorities yeah. have arrived and we are here Who to help. Who the hell are you? Oh. I'm the officer sure. in charge. Uh, officer. Officer. This man can't try to take my brains. Let go of my arm. No, sir. No, sir. He is here with us. We are protecting this civilian and we are here locked in your facility trying to figure out what the hell is going on. You notice with a glimpse that in the top of his pocket you see a squirrel head poking out. Oh, An actual squirrel. Actual squirrel. squirrel. Yes. Yeah. You're a pet? And he's a bit dirty. He's not... Like, gross, but he's just a little unkempt. Sir, can you let go of my arm? Huh? Let go of my arm. Well, you let go of the damn knife. You don't sneak up on a man like that. All right, putting the knife down. Last man who stuck up on a knife and ended up on a bayonet. There's dead bodies. I mean, to be fair. Let go. He lets go. All right, thank God. And then he hops around the table drunkenly to grab his leg and put it on. You should know better than to wave a knife at someone like and that. You see, he has yeah. a, I've seen what's going on here, yeah? He also I, has a combat knife. I don't think my character's side. pieced it together. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's still going, what was going on here? That was awfully rude. That was weird. <laughs> and he sort of leans across the desk, snap, clips his leg on. And How like, long have you been here while this has been happening? What's, what's, well, what's been happening? What are you talking about? What are you t- what's going on? Eating brains. What the hell are you all about? No, he's trying to steal my brain with a knife. Coming in here again. Sir. So were you again? sleeping? Huh? Were you sleeping? Well, you have noticed what's going on around here, yeah? What? We're in trouble. You see, like, a TV has got static on. There's, like, he's clearly drunk. There's bottles everywhere. And he's like, huh? I'm going to offer him a cigarette. He takes it. Mm-hmm. And so to calm your nerves a bit, darling. You seem a bit on edge. Uh, well, you know, I, I don't trust this guy. And I'll light it for him. I tried to give it... Uh, well, all right. And then he takes it and starts smoking it. So can you explain to us what's happened here tonight? <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, Missy, I think I can. Mm-hmm. Uh, you make a persuasion check. Please cold read him. <laughs> <laughs> is it a... Is it a... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Three successes. Yeah. Sorry. I'm sensing an abacadabra. Uh, yeah. well, well, yeah. <laughs> well, my beautiful little uh, spe- ray of sunshine in this dark night. Uh, this, uh, yeah, at this time, you're starting to notice that the squirrel, the squirrel hasn't moved. 
um, and you now get there. You go after <laughs> a little while, realize it's, it's taxidermy, yeah. <laughs> and it's just sitting in his pocket. Oh, that's He's disappointing. Like, I thought we had a mask. I was I was sleeping here, and then this man fella came up and tried to pry my brain open. That's not what I was oh, doing. Oh, I'm terribly sorry about that, honey. But we're just wondering what happened before that. Well, it was a quiet night, and I had mm. a few drinks. A few. Go on. And, and, uh, just knock off time, so I, you know. You reek of whiskey. Well, um, uh, you reek of uh, suspicion. <laughs> Mom, do you happen to have a list of patron, oh, yeah. patrons that are staying at this establishment? Oh, yeah, yeah, but that's private information. Uh, by the way, officer, my name's Harold. Uh, Harold, Harold. Harold Ray. I like how we, like, mime shaking. We could have just uh, shaken our hands. <laughs> We're both like. Harold, I hope you don't mind if this nice police officer has a look just to make sure that everyone's accounted for for tonight. Officer, okay. is that uh, you'd like to look at them? Oh, well, I, uh, yeah, I am an officer, so yeah, yes. All right, and he hands over a clipboard. Um, Can you check for Harper? Is her name on there? I uh, look at the board. Is Harper's name on there? Yes. I see a Harper, yes, a room. Well, she was staying here. Um, <laughs> I'm real by slow with numbers, just bear with me. <laughs> it's marked that she had checked out. This morning. Oh, I don't think she's here shit. anymore. Wait, Harper. That that nice blonde lady. Yes. Well, yeah, she was checking out, and then uh, some of the folks from the business center, they came over and uh, invited her in. So she's still her here? Her car's still there. Oh, I didn't notice that. <laughs> yeah, in the dark, I guess. All right, so that's cool. next door? Maybe you haven't seen her in a while, and you don't yep. know what... Yeah. She's driving a new car. Okay, all right. Have we got keys to that building? Uh... I, I don't. It's Is private to the business clients. So you don't have access. Does the uh, no. does the room of the conference room have some sort of uh, insignia like a bug of some kind? Oh, it's the grasshopper building. Yeah, of course, of course it is. Well, uh, look, uh, here, <laughs> I, I don't know, but some of the folk in the ladybug building they they were staying at the business center. Maybe they could have had a key. Is this your uh, your institution? Oh, uh, I just I just work here. Okay. You owner like bugs? What? I don't know. A bit weird, isn't it? So how long have you been sleeping for? Uh, well, I had a few drinks and I started maybe uh, at noon and then uh, what time is it now? It's like uh, it's midnight. Not Close to midnight. Um, well, I guess for a few hours. <laughs> Can I show him outside the, wood, yeah, the bodies yeah. and stuff like that? Can he, I, can I he, feel down? You can't, you can't see any bodies from where you are because they're around the corners from the reception. Uh, oh. There is a map on the wall. You can take it. It doesn't take an inventory slot. Okay, well, it has the number. Would you, you like to look at the map? We, we look at the map and it and you now fades away map. as it's in our brain. Yeah, you now have the map. Ooh, so you can now access the yes. map. Yay, all right. Let's 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 soak this in a little bit. So where are we? So we got... We got, I got my mouse is on there. That's useful. So where are we? North building... Is that the lobby? That's who you are. That is Motel First Floor. This is the name. So then the, you have oh, the okay. North Building as the Butterfly Building. Yeah. You are currently that's this one. in that. Go, yep, you're in there. There. So that's Got the it. reception. So we entered through here and then we made our way. Oh, I see. It's all making sense you now. You entered up through the right. Map. Yep. You, the Chihuahua Room is the red door to the right of the green door. In the and the top right hand is the safe room. Top um, right's the safe room. The yep. business center is, is I'm that assuming, building. It says, it says, oh, it's because it's so small, it's hard to read for you guys on yeah. that screen. The south building is the ladybug building. And the doors that are green are the ones that are open, with the exception of the Chihuahua door, which I didn't think you'd open it before. Which was this other. one? Which is now locked. Because I, I had to make it. We image. should keep this podcast no, 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 Chihuahua friendly. Chihuahua door was the one on the right. Okay. Okay. We'll keep it pod like podcast so friendly. All so the we'll, other, it, it's still been usefully descriptive. It's but accurate to which doors are locked and unlocked. Okay. Cool. So we and we know that now. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, you don't happen to have any like CCTV or uh, security cameras? No, 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 man. Really? Can you just get the spirits to tell you what happened, Lassie? Ha, 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 very right. funny. <laughs> um, also, the gate is locked. Any chance we yeah, get that we're open? Trapped. <laughs> yeah. Let, uh, let me just. And he he goes over and like starts to seemingly fiddle with the mechanism. Destiny roll five. five, and as he does, the power shorts and it goes, <laughs> and all the power goes out God in the whole motel. It. Good one. Well, that's helpful. Uh, well, the hmm. well, that's a problem. Has anyone got a lighter? No. Do you have a torch by any chance? Uh, Shit. no. I have but an ink ribbon. That's not going to help us right now. 
And he, <laughs> he shakes his head and he's like, there should be a torch in the shed. Uh, but uh, the the boiler room, the generator room's in the basement of the conference center. Okay. The basement? Yeah. Right. That's where we need to go to restart the generator. Do you have right. keys? No. <laughs> I'm not allowed in there. I manage the motel. The conference center's separate. Well, let's grab all the keys to the motel rooms then while we got you here. Well, you just need... If you if you say so, officer, you just need... Uh, and he grabs and he hands you a key with Ladybug on it. Okay, great. In your inventory. Thank so my, you, sir. So my sister was escorted by a shady-looking gentleman? Mm, just business folk. Just business folk. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, uh... They weren't headed in an umbrella on You've been extremely helpful. Thank you so much, oh, honey. Thanks, darling. Look, uh, be careful. There's there's weird types in there. Oh, a tough girl like me can take care of herself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Look, honey. Mm. And he pulls you aside if you let him. Yeah, but yeah. he smells of alcohol. Mm. And he leans into you and whispers in your ear. Be careful. There's, uh, there's aliens about. And then he leans back. <laughs> God damn it. But he leans back in this, like, satisfied, oh, like... Honey. Like, he's, he's, like, yeah. He's into it. He's he just falls asleep again. And then, and then, he, and then he goes, he's like, oh, you need me for anything else? I think we'll come to you if we need you for anything else. Thank you for your help, sir. I suggest perhaps locking the door, though, and we'll come and knock in if we need you. Oh, oh, all right. Mm -hmm. And he he sits down in his chair and um, he picks up a pile of like chip crumbs and pushes them into the mouth of his taxidermied squirrel <laughs> and says, "There you go, Squeaky." <laughs> 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 um, I open the the front door yep. so we can go back out into the. You unlock the front door from the inside. Yep. yep. And uh, I wish I could just make. As that we green. walk out, <laughs> as we walk out, mm, okay. I um. So we're in like the main hall now, yeah. Well, no, the, I think the, you open the, the front door. So you're now, in the, you're now in the car park. Courtyard area. Car, car park, yeah. Uh, I think we're going to need a flashlight, and then I think we're going to have to deal with this generator. It's good that we know how to deal with this. I'm a fine, upstanding citizen. Finally, surrounded by sane people. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Right, let's go. <laughs> so you're headed, okay. Where are you heading? To the shed. Is yeah. that right? The to shed. go down into the generator to get there. To the shed for the flashlight. To go to the generator. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All oh, right. Where do you think the shed is? Didn't someone uh, went? You went there before. Didn't I'm gonna you? guess. Yeah, you guessed the shed. shed. Standalone no. building to the you south. Head down to the shed. Uh, it's a fairly small, like, sort of corrugated iron-looking shed. Uh, there is a, uh, a door on it, and it is chained shut with a padlock on the chain. Oh. You got those bolt cutters on you? Absolutely. Yeah, you you the snap the, the chain off and it collapses to the ground and you get the strange feeling you won't need the bolt cutters anymore. Mm, I'm going to drop these. Okay. They fade they're away. Really, really no, you just drop okay. them on the ground. <laughs> All right, bolt cutters. And the door swings open. I ain't going first. I, I open the door, look for a torch. Is it is it just lit by the moonlight? You guys make perception checks, challenge level three. Okay. Nope. No. Chance level three. Two. No, not for me either. Come on, Noah. Yes. Noah's so the When you say one. challenge level, that's the amount of success. You've got to beat, oh, reach be or beat that. Okay. So it's challenge level three, you've got three successful dice. Okay. Cool. So you achieved the. As you level. open the door, you hear shambling footsteps coming across the asphalt towards you. Inside the shed. No. Outside. Oh, okay. I'm turn around. I'm going to turn around quickly. You snap around quickly and you see the man that was uh, laying slumped by the telephone shambling towards you with bullet wounds all through him and a vacant look in his face. Okay. Slack jawed. Okay. Uh, I'm so like, so I'm looking yeah, for a torch. <laughs> where's that, where's that like, cake? Torch, you, torch, you, torch. Do you, do you, you, just, you, cake, uh, yeah, do you just, just press straight I'm in. just standing at the doorway like, okay. mm, I'll light, torch. I'll light my lighter so we can at least see cool. in the shed. I'm like, if only I had a torch to find this torch with, huh? <laughs> so the two of you are we'll looking wonder. in there. So what are you doing with this shambler? Okay, well, the uh, last time I pulled my knife out, so <laughs> I, I pulled it out on an innocent man, but however, the, this guy's got bullet wounds on him. and Yeah. 
do I have to use perception you, you, to see you, that? You, you knew he was dead. You know, you can recognize okay. it's the guy that was slumped against the phone. Okay, the knife's coming out and I'm grabbing him by the neck to keep his mouth away from you. You're going to attempt seen the... to go into knife combat with him. <laughs> What you That's what I'm asking. Think, yes, this is well, this yes, is yeah, this I is. I have to defend myself. I, this is uh, probably Gareth's first experience. Away, so he's shuffling towards you. He's a walker. <laughs> Let okay, me just point right. out this yeah, is okay, this is right. a you nice moment have, here. Yeah, you, right. you could literally outrun him. Okay, so I'm turning around and running into the shed. And oh at no! Shed. This was the moment of like that was Gareth's first narrator saying. Are you sure? I'm sorry. It's like a D and D meme of like when the GM's like. Do you really do that? The thing is that, like, <laughs> it was a bit unclear as no, to the distances. Mm -hmm. So I didn't want you to feel that there's a guy, like, two metres away, like, right behind That's, you. I assumed yeah. he was right behind exactly. you. Exactly. So he, no, he was, like, halfway across the car lot, yeah. slowly shambling towards you guys. Yeah. Okay, See? well, I'm running into the shed. Cool. I'm, I'm pulling it close, so we're trapped in the <laughs> shed yeah, now. Shut, with shut, the shed. You kidding me? Yeah. We can't see squat in here now. There was a dead man running towards me. Oh, don't be silly. There bullet holes in him. You saw he was dead earlier. There's a wounded person outside. Hey, this I'm guy's not wounded. I'm glad you told me. I opened the you, door. It, you let him push it past, or you what get you? contested? I just though. opened I'm, the door because I'm told there's someone in need of are help. Are you trying to stop him opening it or let him out? I'm an officer. I'm responding yeah, to distress. Yeah, but this is a situation where... So what do you I do? feel like you really wanted to open the no, door. No, no, what do you do? What you do you I'm going to try and stop you. You, you. So, oppose strength check. I can see the danger. Make, make right. just a raw strength. Because <laughs> it's just pushing and pulling the door. Yep. Oh, I don't so, yours is two to, dice. I don't have anything. Ne do. well, I, three. I have a plus and a minus. So, we have the same strength. Okay, so how many are we rolling? I'm normally stronger than you, but I'm injured. He's injured. So, three dice each. And mm -hmm. you're just trying to beat each other. Yep. I got two. two. successes you for old pop 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 copper Hank. One. One. So Hank pushes through. You resist. Hank. Get out of my way, but boy. Hank pushes through. And by yeah. the time you get, you scuffle and slow each other down, probably about five or six metres ahead of you, there is this man shambling towards you with an arm outstretched. With I hold up. I he's, ho he's clearly hold my got gun at the wounds, radio, but there's like, no blood flowing. Is this the same guy that was coming towards yeah. you? Yeah, he's just walked. Like I'm going to roll perception mm -hmm. to sort of see how much I notice about, like how much I pick up that cool. this is a dead person oh, yeah. as cool. opposed to... Someone who's distressed. I you, got three. That's probably enough. In the even in the light of outside, um, his complexion is like cold, pale, dead complexion, like blue lips. Completely, yeah. there are multiple uh, gunshot wounds and lacerations on him, but there's no flowing blood whatsoever. Like the blood, there's stains of blood, but there's no blood flow. It's just stopped. It's all cauterized. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's all it's all congealed and stopped flowing. Okay. And he's walking towards you. Going through Hank's head is, this is the rapture. This is these are the end times. <laughs> This is the <laughs> end of the world. Yep. The dead are rising. Yep. It was, Here's a this was letter. foretold yeah. in the book of Revelation. Uh, the devil himself uh, stands before me. <laughs> and I'll hold up my gun and I shoot him. All right. Like, be gone, devil man. So, make a combat roll. As That's he it. is now five meters away, he's, he's close enough to get close to you pretty quickly. Well, I hope that worked, Hank. <laughs> so, so how, I'm plus two, minus two. Yep. And then plus three for, for my gunslinger. gunslinger. And your, um, your, so the Derringer is plus zero dice. The Beretta is a plus oh, one. I have one gun. Your over. revolver is also plus one, so you get one additional dice. Okay. Cool. Yay. And it uses two bullets to make this attack. Yep. You're looking for three because it's a zombie. Bang. One, two, three. Three, three successes. You fire two rounds and clean go through his head and the zombie, it shuffles a few more feet and then collapses on the ground next to you. And that's three rounds of ammunition burned up. Uh, two. Two for you. Two. Yeah, two per, per, per zombie kill. Oh, so you now you. should have two left in your gun. No, I had six in the gun. Oh, you haven't... No, you fired. Sorry. Correct, I'm yeah. confusing who had yeah. shot. So, so you have I've four left. Four left. Okay. God All damn. Right. Oh, that was close. I turn around and I'm like, we have been conscripted into the army of God. We are Quite the salvation the that the Lord himself has called upon. I'm surrounded by wackos. I've got a psychic on this side and a Bible... Now listen on here. This side. The only sane guy's in the reception hall. <laughs> I, look at, I look at Noah Stern and I'm like, Now listen here. I was sent to you to bring you faith, boy. You best... Gird up your loins. Look, can we just find the torch, please? Now find a torch, for it is the light that will guide us. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> goodness sake. You, you spin back into the room. You've been looking around. In the room, there are a few items of note. Whee. There is a torch. It's like a big mag light. There is a... I, I take the torch. There is the head of a Roman-looking statue just sitting on, like, a table. 
Um, it looks okay. very out of place. Mm-hmm. And there is also a jerry can with fuel in it. Can it be put in the inventory? The head? the head? Yes, it takes up one slot. <laughs> I'm holding the torch and the gun now. I'm mm-hmm. looking so you've taken the torch? Yeah. Cool. I'm going to take the jerry can because I've got the lighter. You take the jerry can? I feel cool. like... Oh, I feel like this head's got something to do with something, but my character just wouldn't pick up a head. Then leave it. But you know it's here. Okay, I know it's here. Yeah. Because I, I, this is all stuff that my character would pick up. He wouldn't yeah, pick up a gotta, statue head for no be, reason. Yeah, for sure. Being character. But he knows um, it's there. It's just there. <laughs> what would have been also very cool is to have the map, like, printed out too, and then you can make notes on it too of things. I wish... Hey, in the future, it wouldn't matter for podcast anyway, so no, we have to walk that way. It would help for you guys. Yeah, it would be fine. In the future, this. I'd love to get to that point yeah. where we have more time to prepare it all. And but, yeah. but I can write notes down, statue yeah, head and shed. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I, I mean, I, I put. I did I only did like eight hours of prep of this in my home time. I'm sorry that I didn't bring it up to snuff. No, no, I was did. more like if you decide to do this at home with your friends. Oh, for sure. Then print the I would map print out. the map out and yeah. write down notes. If you and do. make notes. Because I've got a master version of the map that has everything. This is like the draft. Ah, but cool. it's got all the items and all the oh, zombies that's so and cool. everything is on this Love map. it. Love it. Um, so, okay. Anyway. So you're leaving the head? Leaving the Turn head. around. Where are you heading? I spit on the ground out of habit as if it was yep, to the back. It landed on my shoe. Oh, now we're going to have to... Uh, now we want to get into that conference building, but I don't think it'll be wise unless we can get that generator going. You got the fuel? Sure do. Where's the generator? You said the basement. Basement of the conference. The basement. basement. So I look at the map. To f- oh, I think to or think to the map in my head to think about the stairs. Oh, I've had the map on and we've missed the rolls. Whoops. Sorry, everyone. People, actually, I will say for future reference, people say they can't really see the rolls. Okay, anyway, we'll keep. The we're keeping the, map's the map probably on. more interesting for today. Yeah, we'll describe what we roll anyway because we have to for the podcast. Yeah. We'll, we'll switch back if we need to. For I think the map for this is good. Yeah. Well, we can't get into the conference building unless we have a key, so... I have a key. It's got a little ladybug on it. Oh, wait, no. He said something about a grasshopper. Correct. Maybe it's in the generator room. Uh, But where's the generator room? He did also say that some business clients had been Mm. staying in the ladybug building. I think perhaps we have to go back into that other building. He did also say that some business clients have been saying <laughs> stayed in the ladybug building. Oh, I just came to you. <laughs> it just, just occurred to me. Perhaps we could <laughs> find let's, some let's clues. Let's haste, shall we? All right, we head off to If the I had a bucket building. tool as well, I'd love to be able to be like, okay, red into the shed because there's still an item in it. So in Resident yeah. Evil, if you fully searched a room, it goes green. Gotcha. So like the, the two rooms in the middle uh, yeah. in the top building would be green because you've got everything in them. Gotcha. Yeah. I like it. So we're heading to the south yep. east cool. building. You head back into the ladybug building. Yep. The one with the damp floor. Ladybug. Yep. So there was the room with the chihuahua. No, this that was the north building. Oh, was it? So okay. there's two rooms you haven't entered in that building, and then there's the three rooms yeah, in the south Yeah, it was building. where the cake was. The cake, cake building. building. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cake building. <laughs> we get back in there, and I'm like, nerves are starting to get to me, and I'm like... We might be here for a while. Sugar crash. We're going to need some blood sugar to okay. keep our energy up. So you head back to the Ladybug building? Yeah, I go get the cake. Cool. Uh, as you walk close to it, um, you notice that the body that was slumped in the doorway isn't there anymore. Oh, great. So we've been in the Ladybug building. Yeah, so yeah. that green door on the no, south no, building uh, was the Isabella one that- and Hank have been in the Ladybug building. Okay, I haven't yeah, been yeah, in there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but that green door the that's kitchen. marked was the one on kitchen. the south building. That was the one that the body was slumped We in. have another body that's gone AWOL. Well, we should keep better tabs of them moving forward. Yeah, maybe we should start shooting them in the head, apparently. Um, well, it's the uh, the goddamn uh, re- book of Revelations tells us anything. It's it's certainly time to fight the good fight for the Lord. I don't remember anything about guns and shooting heads in that book. Though. It's uh, so you sort of have to decode it. They use like words like um like uh, the the the. Uh, the so uh, the soldier of God and, and it's, they don't say it the same thing because they wrote it a long time ago. They didn't know what a gun was, but <laughs> okay, she's right. We should go. You're right. <clears throat> so you're going. What? We're going which in. door are you going through? You've got the map in front of you, so you can reference the doors. So there was a body slumped yep. in the door. In that and door, now that's it's gone. Mark green. That is no. Now the body's gone. But we can go through the red one because we've got the key now, Correct. right? Yeah. We'll go through the red door, I think. I think so. You unlock the red door. Yeah. It opens into the corridor. Immediately the carpet is damp. 
uh, as you push into your left, maybe 10 meters away, there is a, as the female with the mangled leg turns towards you and starts shambling up the corridor. I hold up my gun. Cool. Okay. And I whisper to myself, Man, eyes have seen the glory of the coming of it. the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Bang! And you start shooting combat roll as it shambles towards you. Uh, glory, glory, hallelujah! Oh, Boom! That was five Good successes. The, the first, the first round flies wide. Uh, it actually, so it doesn't. It just goes through an area of her body that was already injured. It just like goes in and out, um, and she shambles another few steps. But then your second round hits her, and her head explodes. Glory, glory, hallelujah! And it's just, and, and, and then she just drops to her knees and slumps forward, and, and all the blood say, goes around. Amen. And you spent two bullets, obviously. Yeah. I'll put those um, and for those who played Resident Evil, there is actually a mechanic where you can get critical hits on them. And if you mm. do that, uh, their head explodes. Yes. Which has connotations that I won't spoil, but mm. their head is exploded. Mm. Cool. Uh, cool. Okay. So you're now standing there with the head exploded zombie, and the I, wa- the, the, there are three doors that are locked. Kitchen. The, you go, I back. go back into the kitchen. Okay. I get the rest you of the cake. <laughs> That takes up an inventory slot if you're carrying the whole cake. Yeah. How many cool. more slots? Worth it. How many slices of cake are left? There's six slices left. Okay. By the way, there's a knife in the kitchen if anyone requires it. I already have one. No, I'm still good. Cool. I take out a slice of cake. Cool. He has no inventory <laughs> slots. <laughs> and I'm like, you're going to need the energy. And I hold out a slice of cake. No. Isabella? I'm not touching that. More cake for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, which door are you opening? I, I'd go chronological. I'd go what, the one nearest the kitchen. Okay. Yeah. So, just quickly, story wise, what are we doing here? You're trying to who find. Who are we looking for? I mean, we're trying to find clues to the business people who are in the cricket, the grasshopper conference building. Ideally, we're looking for a key into and the my, conference room. But my sister's in there. In are the you guys building. building? Yeah. Are you guys helping me, or are you just trying to find clues? Well, but I'm going along. We're trying to help you. Generator online to open yeah. the gate to get out of here. Anyway. But we've all got the general like same goals. You all want to get what's going on. Yeah, yeah. I've got an extra one of trying to find my sister. Mm, yeah. yeah. Okay. And the side goal for I guess the least cool. attached is get the generator open so I can fucking leave. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Just a little help. recap. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So we didn't do a recap for this episode actually. No. Oh well. I don't think. Yeah. This okay. So you open the door. Um, the door swings open and you are in a, cram- uh, a decent bedroom, uh, just a standard motel room. Um, there, it's fairly, it's clear that someone's been staying here. Um, and, but there's not much of interest. There's a briefcase, there's an open briefcase and there's a, um, photo, like a, um, Polaroid picture sitting in the briefcase. Well, you go first, you've got the torch. Yeah, I look at the picture. What cool. do I notice? You pull out a picture. It, the photo is a group of scientists. They seem to be meeting a man at a conference center. The man, the man has mm. blonde swept back hair and black sunglasses and wears a lab coat. There is writing on the back of the card, That's on the back of the photo. I turn it over, read the writing. It says, new facility opening, December 1985. New facility opening, 1985. That's three... So yeah, three years ago. Thirteen years ago. Thirteen years ago. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think you can figure this out better than I can? I've been a police officer for the longer than you've been alive, son. Can I have a look at that, please? Sure. And Don't recognize uh, any of the people. Uh, make a intelligence check. Challenge level four. I say you can actually with their. Uh, yeah, you start reading the picture. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can actually with their spirits there. I see a W. <laughs> One success. Yeah. You can pretend you know people, but you don't recognize yeah, anyone. Right. It's an old photo too. I'm gonna have a quick look mm-hmm. at the photo. Cool. Do My you all sm- want to roll to see if you recognize someone? Yeah, yeah. It's an intelligence check. Challenge level four. Okay, so I've yeah, got just just I've got in, yeah, so you can succeed, sure. but you need to roll a success on every. How house. many? How many? Do I, how many? Four. Yeah, four. Because it's just intelligence. Okay. If it's a critical, ah, oh, yes, no. two. And you, I feel like my sister would in? recognize someone. <laughs> I can't on roll, no. You only have three. I have two. Yeah, then you can't. Yeah. No. Oh, I'm like yours. Check would actually have been a three. definitely thirteen. Years because ago. metagaming, they're actually a member of the police department, but 
So yours would have been a three, but you have two, so no, you can't. That's three more than ten years, as we've established. <laughs> okay. mm-hmm. And that's pretty much all of interest in that room. Okay. Moving leave, on. Leave the room next door. To the next room. It's similar. It's a largely empty but furnished room of a guest. That There's a guest that's been staying here, but there's no. they're not in there. Um, Don't notice anything. Sitting on the bedside table, there is a magazine of 9mm ammunition. Mm, who's got a 9mm? That would be Isabella. Cool. I'm going to take that, please. Mm-hmm. Eight pen- pencil. You took it. <laughs> you like... She, so you she reaches actually... out for a pencil and Dave gives her imaginary ammunition. <laughs> she slides... Uh, you slide... Do you know how to operate a gun? You do. You have a point in that. Uh, yeah. You slide the magazine home and you have um, 12 rounds. Two in the if I put two in the yeah, twelve rounds. Just just right. Your gun has twelve rounds. It's full. Okay. Yeah. Wow, you're doing well. Nice. Uh, but you don't have any spare ammunition. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Nothing in here. Walk out. Next room. Last. Last room. Cool. You go to the last room. The door is damp. Oh, and there was something else in there. Um, in the drawer, you grab. Uh, there is a key card that has a picture of a um, dragonfly. Oh, uh, a grasshopper on it. A key card. Mm. Swipe key card. Oh well, we grab the key card. Taking cool. that. Beautiful. All right. I so got, Noah's I got, got the key. I got card. room for that. All right. Yeah. Are you going it. to damp room? Yes. You, I'm just working out if you're going to be thorough and check all the rooms. Or yeah, if we'll, no, we'll check yeah. all the rooms. Cool. Always check all I, um, the rooms. I step back, make way for Noah to be able to open the door. I have a gun in my right hand and a piece of pink frosted cake in my left. Okay. Can you shine the torch over my shoulder whilst I go in? Not with cake. <laughs> oh, he's got one hand. Oh. I, I dump, oh, right. I dump the, the half-eaten cake he on the ground. His I've got five slices left. I, I grab the torch out. I hope the zombie slips on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Make my day. All right, you follow me. Torch behind. out. Um, I'm uh, shining the light yet. Okay, we're going in. The water is damp as the door opens and the lights are out, obviously, and it is flowing in from the bathroom. Okay, is there anything mm. else in There's this the sound room? of running water from the bathroom. Mm, Hold up. up. If that water's running, someone turned it on. Cool. They might still be in there. All right. I'll go check. You mm-hmm. splat through wet, wet ground, and you enter the bathroom. It's dark. Uh, over near the bath, there is a green herb in a little pot next to the bath. Um, the curtains are drawn on the bath, and water is overflowing from the bath. The adventurous part of me wants to open up, but I've already got a green herb. I'm good. Mm-hmm. I'm not checking it. I would like to take the green herb. Okay. So you walk over to the green herb. You goddamn hippies and your green herbs. And <laughs> as you get over to the green herb, the curtain to the bath rips open and there is a slosh of water and a body lurches out towards you. Mm-hmm. Make a combat roll. Do I have time to pull out my gun? Yeah, you're going to be carrying your gun. It's pretty yeah. dangerous. Cool. So the 9mm... Yep, just gives you one extra dice. So you have base three plus stats is five, plus one. For how many have you got for small guns? I put one in. So you get one plus one. So you should have seven dice. Two, three, four, six. Yep. Cool. You fire three rounds home into the zombie and stagger back, and it goes and sinks back under the water with this mucky slop of water. Was that three rounds? Sorry, did you say? Three bullets yeah, cool. to kill one with cool. the Beretta. Yep, beautiful. Um, or with whatever the gun is. It's not a Beretta. Nine it's just mm. generic 9 millimeter. Uh, and, yeah, the zombie sags away. Beautiful. And I, you pick up the green herb. I do. If I eat that, does that remove my minor injury? Correct. I would like to. Have so you eat the green herb and heal. <laughs> cool. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> you grind up the herb. Okay. Right. Is there anything else in here? Uh, not that you can yep, head back out. Of, can you see? Let Let's uh, let's go and knock that coffee. Not without the plug out of the bath. You know the classic resident. Yeah. Evil. Right. Oh. No. My character okay. wouldn't do that. Yeah. We go to the conference room. Oh, I lead the way to the conference room, torch in hand. Cool. So, uh, search around briefly when I reach the exit mm-hmm. facing the car park. Just looking around. Yeah, you don't see any movement. Good. Like, all right, hang in close, gang. The demons are about heading towards the conference hour. You scan the surroundings and there is a door. It's like a semi-circle of glass uh, walls and you key card to open it, I'm assuming. The door unlocks. You step into the lobby of the conference center where there's sort of like those easel style things with placards of what's mm-hmm. being advertised and business conferences. 
and um, a zombie in a lab coat shambles towards you. <laughs> Who's got a gun? All of you, right? Oh, you, yeah, you're at the front, copper. I don't have a gun. Uh, you no, know, I'm at the front, so I shoot. You shoot him? Combat roll. Does the zombie look like any of the people in the picture? It's got a lab coat on. No, it doesn't. No, okay. Six plus one. Boom. You kill Four, it. Five. It drops. Five. Five successes. Yep. Its head explodes. Yay. Yay. Critical. And you spend two more rounds. So you yes. You now reload. I reload. You have six in, six, six out. That's it. All right. Uh, in the room, there are several lounges, and the lounges look like where you would wait casually. There are multiple doors leading off to the south and one, uh, and multiple doors leading off to the north. There is a nice, luxuriously appointed bar, and uh, behind the bar is what looks like a uh, pump-action shotgun on a nice little plinth. Mm, I know that shotgun. I've, I've seen that type before. I'm, yeah. I'm going to pick that up. All right, and check so it, you see go around loaded. behind the bar. <laughs> From the ground, a bartender lunges towards you. Okay. What well, have you got? Are we allowed to interact with each other's combat, or is it like... No, we'll just do one... Gotcha. Until the final combat where it will be a big thing. Gotcha. Okay, so he's right in front of me. Yeah? Yep. All right, I'm pulling Because what will happen is now. if he fails, he'll just take damage, and then someone else yep. can interact with it. Gotcha. It's, yeah. Cool. All right. Pulling, my, pulling out my knife. Okay. So your knife is a defensive item. Mm -hmm. It is. So um, the zombie just lunges at you and immediately ah, grabs you and starts trying to bite you. You whip out your knife, stab it into its head, and it staggers back a couple of steps. In that time, you lose your knife because it's now embedded in it, but you pull back and can now reassess. The zombie is standing in the bar and starts shuffling towards the group. Pick up the gun, boy! The gun is behind it. You'd have behind. to get past it. Can I, I pick... Can I, I shoot it. Can I shoot it? Yeah, you can engage Bang it. So it. now you roll combat? Yeah. So my knife was ineffective. Your knife bought, saved you from all your damage. And then it falls back. Yeah. And then yeah. it falls back because you walked into that one. That one was like a trap one. So, so that's single use, yeah? Single use. Okay, I don't know. For... Don't worry, there's, a, there's more knives. Can you pick it up out of his head? No, they're broken. Uh, the game rules. In real life, obviously, but we're playing Resident Evil rules. Gotcha. So it's a one use item. Oh, I'm glad I had that. Bang, I missed. One miss. success. Ooh. You, the first shot, well, I mean, you can burn ammo. We know that's a rule. It's two, two. ammo per success. So it's shambling towards you. Towards me. Yeah, because you're the one that engaged it. So I'm gonna, yeah, no, I'll, I'll so do So you it. burn yeah. four, four rounds. So you empty your whole revolver into it. So basically you don't even miss. It just takes the rounds. You don't hit its head. It's just boof, boof into the torso. Yeah. It takes six shots and you empty your full gun and you equal the three and the zombie sags forth and slop, flops onto the ground. Six shots. Do I have to burn the whole... Because it's two bullets per oh success. Gosh. So you only roll one success. All right. So you now have emptied your second chamber and load six rounds back into your mag. Okay. You now just have the six Crap. rounds. I love this. This is kind of cool. Oh, saved your skin, son. Yeah. You better arm Thank yourself. You. Just so you know, I don't... I, I, I've never shot. I haven't shot a gun in a long time, but I'm going to take this just in case. Well, tonight's the night you shoot again. You better hope I that hope, muscle memory kicks I in. I hope it doesn't come to that. Are you freaking kidding me, boy? I These are I the last I days. I it's us kidding. versus the spawn of hell. I ain't kidding. You start pouring a drink. Isabella just starts pouring a drink and drinking it behind <laughs> My the bar. Gun looks terrible. I grab some whiskey. Cool. Yeah, do the same. Do you go up and get the shotgun? I cheese yeah. you a little bit. I'm taking it. You I begrudgingly. Yeah, yeah. So Noah goes up and lifts the shotgun off its mount, and you hear a... Oh, no. And these two hooks just go... And move out of position. And then you hear this clunk, 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 clunk noise all around the room. And nothing else happens. Okay, hold the... That gonna, sounded fantastic. What was that? I'm going to go and inspect these doors. What happened cool. there? They, uh, they all appear locked. You attempt to open the door, and it's just locked. Including the door from the entrance. Okay, well, I feel like I need to put that shotgun back. Cool. You go and put the shotgun back. Okay. All the doors unlock. See, I'm not too sure whether I should be rolling to know whether enough I'm smart enough to know whether to put that back or not. Well, it makes sense in that instance. Okay, so that makes fine. sense. I'll, yeah. I'll put the shotgun Otherwise, back. Otherwise, you're just going to be locked in the room forever. Okay. So. Maybe oh. we need to find something of equivalent. Equivalent? Equivalent. I require an equivalent <laughs> item. Equivalent heaviness. Yes. yes. And that shotgun has six rounds in it, just so you know. Oh, I want this shotgun. I need it. We do need it. Mm. Cool. Okay, well, let's look in some other rooms. Mm, nice. Sounds like a plan. So which room are you going to? You've got the map. What about that head thing? Oh, you also have um, in this room. There is a escape plan. 
or like a, another map. So you may now at your leisure open map two. It's like an evacuation. Oh, okay. Yeah, you thought this was all? Is this the one? That's map two. So that is, uh, For the that, conference is center. that is conference center basement. Ah, I see. <sighs> Excuse me. Cool. But we're not so this is the yet. level below us. Yeah, that's the level below. And that's the stairwell on the right there. Uh, with the weird scratchy lines that are my bad attempt to do stairs. Really gotcha. Quickly. So, I guess... And that should match if you go back to the other one. Yeah, I've got to zoom out to go to the other one. There's a stairwell. No, well, no, not that uh, one. Didn't see it, didn't see it. Uh, so, see that windy room there? Yep, gotcha. Yep, that's the stairwell. stairwell. Okay. So, power back on, perhaps? Let's go get the power. Here are the stairs. Yeah, so we'll go to the basement. All right, so you're opening Head that downstairs. door immediately to your north. I'm in front, leading with the torch. Oh, actually, uh, can you guys make a perception check for the room that you're in? Because there's something we've missed. Everybody? Yep. Or whoever wants to. Uh, two, three is Challenge level. Uh, three challenge level is... I think Jen made it. Challenge level three is fine. It's not meant to be hard. So, Jen spots it. Three. Uh, Isabella spots it and heads yep. over. I got three. So, Isabella, the dead uh, scientist zombie that you killed uh, ha happened to be holding a pamphlet in its hand that catches your attention. I'll take it. Uh, and you read it. Mm -hmm. It says, Welcome to your new job at Arclay View's Motor Inn. Your employee instruction manual has important reference pages for you to memorise as part of your induction. It is vital that you remember page 7. Equally of importance is the information on page 5, for reference clarity, please read the glossary on page 44. Do I have to take this to remember this information? The or? documents don't take up inventory slots. Beautiful. I'll pocket they it. They have their own special section in their menu. I'll pocket it. Cool. Itchy. Tasty. <laughs> so, yeah, open the hallway and go yep. to the cool. stairwell. You open north, uh, which is unlocked, and, you, uh, and a zombie shuffles towards you. Great. It's directly in the doorway. Who wants to deal with it? Let me handle this one. I got nothing. All right. Make a combat roll. I told you that this is why now you're starting to understand why I was like, we need to just make it a one roll and done. Yeah, yeah. There's going to be heaps. <laughs> you get three, four success, five successes. You mm -hmm. blow its head off. Cool. Uh, and that zombie is dead. Yay. So seven rounds. Three yeah. rounds to remove. So you should go 12 to eight. Uh, 12 to nine, sorry. But I blew it. I took so you're on six. Before. Yeah, not yeah. seven. So six rounds left. So two zombie kills, basically. Yeah. Cool. All right, that one's dead. Uh, there, so you're in the corridor. You're going straight for the stairwell? Yes. I believe cool. so. You head down the stairs. So we're in the basement now. Ooh. The stairwell winds down, and as you get to the bottom of the stairwell, a zombie begins to stand up from the ground. I got to get a weapon. <laughs> Got nothing. By the way, like as another thing, you don't have to kill every single one. As long as they, if they ambush you, I make you roll immediately. But if they're just there, you Has could it seen avoid us? them. It's standing up and heading towards you, but you're like halfway up the stairs, and it's still pushing up off the ground. Uh, can we can uh, we go around it without being? You would have to make a check to try and avoid yeah. it and get past it. At the bottom of the stairs. Yep. All shoot three of us. You're just gonna shoot it. Okay. Okay. You're gonna make okay. the combat roll. Go for it. Pew pew. Go Our it. Father who art in heaven. Oh, this is Three good. successes. It's slumped. <laughs> and slumps back onto the ground. Be you spent your two bullets. Hallelujah. He's got four shots left and you're dry. Is this another patron or is it a scientist? Huh? The zombie. Oh, it was just a person. Yeah. Actually, they're wearing, um, they were just wearing what looked like a bath towel wrapped around themselves. Oh, dear. Oh. Um, oh my. And you open the door to the next room immediately. <laughs> you enter a very small room. Uh, the door to the north and south. The door to the north see, uh, says conference center, uh, relaxation center. And to the south it says boiler room. Oh, boiler room, right? Yeah. 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 Let's head, head into the boiler room. <laughs> the door's locked. Head into the conference relaxation. <laughs> the door's locked. Yes. God damn. It. And next to the door to the relaxation center, there is uh, what you notice to be like the bust of a Greek statue with no head. <laughs> Great. <laughs> this makes no sense. <laughs> okay, well. We go all the way What? Back that up. doesn't make sense to you? <laughs> bring your club entry. All you have to do is bring the literal <laughs> head of, a, of your the matching Greek statue oh, in a bowling ball bag it. and you can get in. 
I was playing Resident the game, Evil. I would have taken it. Here's the I thing. I would have got had it. Imagine working there. That's what I can never get over. It's like there is a functioning laboratory and it's like, oh yeah, you got to come to work today. But make sure you come an hour early because you have to go over to that west wing of the building. You have to type in the code. Then you have to get the emblem of seal clapping. <laughs> then you go and take that, combine it with the green and then, and then put the second emblem in and then twist them and then the door will open and then you can come to work. Like, yeah. And then who's the intern who then has to go take them out and go put them back? Sounds like, sounds like Jazza Studios. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, actually. that's how I get to yeah. work every day. He's yeah. got the clapping seal in. The cool yeah. one, I really it's like. It's a sign the, of the trust. The revolver you, that goes into the wall. It's that's a, exactly. Cool. Yeah. yeah, it's a sign of trust. If you earn the clapping emblem and yeah. uh, you've made it through the ritual, that's how you know you, yeah. you've earned it. I've actually really, in my life, I love Resident Evil that much that if I had way too much money to blow... I would get a, a ridiculous Resident Evil style thing built at my house. <laughs> but it would be like something ridiculous and it would be like a block of chocolate. So it'd be like, in case of emergency, I have to go through this extreme effort of like shoveling up a garden gnome and getting out the emblem of this, go somewhere else to get the other emblem, put them in, and then the chocolate block is revealed. And it's like, if I want a snack, I gotta really want a snack. <laughs> All right. Let's go get this statue head. Cool. It's a. Uh... As part of the trial, we need to complete the false idol to reach the rest of Who the... Who the hell yeah. built this motel? <laughs> Is it easy enough just to run back and get yeah, it? Or you, you have to have a journey to get it. All right. No, you, you, you head back through. Glad all the doors are unlocked. We can get back. Yep. Cool. Okay. Go get it. Uh, make a perception check as you head... Challenge level four as you head through and into the tool shed. Everyone? Whoever would like to. You, if you we don't will. want to be perceptive, don't make the check. We'll all head back, but... I'm being yes. perceptive. I've got the torch, and you don't I notice. don't notice. Are you anything. looking to go for it? Do you Where, level four. What's this for? Just for as, general you, as you head into the tool shed to get the head. Mm -hmm. okay. Ooh. Oh, Whoa! Sorry, uh, six successes. Very. As I think I'm good. you walk past Noah, um, you notice that the body on the ground has changed weirdly. Uh, its scalp is bright red. And its hair has almost been like pushed out of its scalp, uh -oh. and his fingers have grown into sort of like claws. And you notice this as you're maybe like ten, probably fifteen meters away, and it's still laying on the ground. Yeah, this thing's terrifying looking, mm -hmm. but it still looks dead. Mm, okay, but yeah. it's, it's you notice with that really good perception roll that it has changed in the time since you last saw it. We need this though. Mm -hmm. We need this. I don't, I don't. I don't think I've got a choice, do I? Up to you what you do. Well, we can't get in. The guy's we laying need, on the ground in front of the tool shed. Okay, well, I am going to use my stealth to try and sneak past Make him. a stealth check. Challenge level three. Do you tell us that that thing is, like, it's, that it is different? Actually, challenge level four, you're stepping directly over this thing. Okay, so stealth, I've got oh, five, yeah, dice. five dice. So you need to get four successes. Oh, man. I'm screwed. Can I assist him? That dumb? How are you going to assist? What's your method? Now be real quiet. <laughs> nice. Okay, go for it. <laughs> okay. Good luck. Oh, no. One success. All right. You step, step on his face. You step, step over him, him, and then you all see this. <laughs> and this thing just, like, folds like the it's the ring. It just upright in one second. <laughs> up to upright and lunges directly so at him. Do you have any weapon? I don't have... Uh, no, I no. don't. No, okay, so you're unarmed combat defending now. So make a yeah base roll, and the challenge level against so the crimson head is four. So it's base three dice plus your two attributes minus one because you're unarmed, so you have four dice. And your challenge level is four. So you have to, so get, have to get all get successes to be uninjured and to mm -hmm. like kill the zombie. Okay. Well, I do have a herb, so you know. I, got, I, got, I got some <laughs> cool. confidence. You know, right? two, two successes. Mm -mm. And grabs you. It, it actually slashes you with its claws, and you get a massive gash. You take two marks of health, or a or a medium injury. So you mark off two marks of health. What the hell? And it's now active. What are you doing? Shoot it. You're going to engage it. Okay. Uh, make a combat roll. Uh, what are you doing in this brief moment? I am just falling off to the side in pain. Oh no, there was Ooh. one success. One. Uh, it turns as the first shot slaps into it and then it charges towards Isabella and lunges onto her, biting deep into her shoulder and tearing out a chunk of flesh. You take three damage <laughs> as you and you sort of drop onto the ground. I shoot it. Come on, Shara. <laughs> oh, you could have burnt ammunition to increase that, by the way. Or you could use your knife to counter the damage. 
You got a knife, don't you? I feel like yeah. I feel like that happened. No, I know, but but it's it's the gamey thing. I gotcha. You hit the button just in time and cancel the animation right as it's biting you, (laughs) and then then you pull out a knife, (laughs) stab it in the head, and it staggers back. You now get another opportunity, one of you to do to attack it. Does it have any negatives? No. Okay. This is how we roll. I shoot it. You shoot it. Yeah. Combat roll. One, two, three, four, five. five. Yeah. You fire some shots solidly and slap into it and it sags to its knees. <sighs> and slumps onto the ground. I'm going to waste all my ammo looking after you incompetent people. How many shots have you got left? Two. Two <laughs> bullets Isn't that left. Your job? Two shots or two bullets? I thought it was your job as well as mine. And I'm the only one doing his job tonight. <laughs> so it's two shots or two bullets? Uh, yeah. No, it's two per shot. So right? you got four shots left, four bullets. I've had, I had four. So you now have one two, chance yeah. left, yeah. and you got no additions. Okay, yeah. cool, cool. So you get the, you get the. Okay. Head. Got, How yeah. you're injured? You're bleeding quite profusely. Mm, I don't know whether I want to use it all up there. You got two health left, right? So you're now. Oh, I, you said two or three. Oh, have you? Is that the first time you've taken damage? Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. so no, you took two. So you're yellow yeah, caution. caution. I'm caution. But it's it's yellow to orange. It's that, you know. We're not red yet. Red is four full. I'm going to stay on caution. Cool. You're on caution. All right. And you head back. Well, yeah, we get the head. Oh As God. you head back... It's, I have an inter- inventory slot. It hasn't... Uh, you notice that the, the body of the scientist... Um, oh, you blew that one's head off. Mm. Yeah. No, so that's fine. You press on downstairs. Okay. Cool. All right, and so you slide the head on and the door opens. The doors unlock. Both doors actually unlock. North and south. Gonna walk in very cautiously. Generator room. So you're going generator room first? Yep. Alright, you head down into the boiler room. Alright. Uh, you got the map, do you? Of the downstairs? Yes. Yeah. Is everything turned off? Yeah, it's pitch black down here. Alright. Okay. We're on the lit by a torch. Mm-hmm. This is fun. This is like torturing my players. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you wind down through like sort of shelves and stuff. Meshed shelves and there's like sort of it's way bigger than it should be, but clearly it also incorporates a spa, pool, sauna, all that, yeah. as well as the power for the complex, backup power, and even more. It seems like really big. So there's a lot of like chain link chicken wire fences with machinery behind it. Uh, and you wind through these awkward corridors. Really, uh, these awkward sort of really things. uncomfortable it's room quite, layouts. <laughs> it's quite narrow and dark. Um, and then as you reach this sort of bit where it comes out, you see that there is a chain link fence with a door, like a gated chain link area. Mm-hmm. Um, it seems to be a storage room and there is also another room off to it. Uh, but if you round the, you can round the corner as well, but that's what's there. All right. So we've got a couple of doors open here, do we? Yep. So there's a chain link fence. You can actually see into yeah, there. Yeah, what's through there? Um, okay. in, in there, you can see that there is a fuel container to fill up there's just another jerry can of fuel oh another jerry can i'll Mm. take i'll take the jerry can cool sure so you open that chain link fence and grab the jerry can yep cool so you're now carrying jerry can is there anything else in there it has two uses of fuel just like the other jerry can yep okay uh other room other room next to the chain link Mm. fence room uh the other room next to the chain link fence just So you open the door to the storage room, and inside you find a crank on a shelf. A crank. It's just basically tools and various like pool cleaning accessories, mm-hmm. and there's a crank in there. The crank looks handy. Yeah, it does okay, look I'm handy. Gonna, I'm going to pick that up. Cool. You guys looking pretty full for inventory slots? Yeah. I've got one. Oh, I've got, no, two, I've got one, two, three left. Okay, cool. Uh, pick up a crank. I eat a slice of cake. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I've got four slices left to get through. Does this crank have a particular shape on the end? or is it just It's just a weird, like, it's a pentagram on the end. Pen- pentagonal, not okay. pentagram, a All pentagonal right. crank. Cool, I'll pick that up. Cool. You sure you don't want a slice? No, I'm good. <laughs> He's like, I, I want to, I to empty, empty my inventory. <laughs> There's anything you learn being on the job as long as I have. Uh, <laughs> you got to eat an entire cake in, in half an hour. <laughs> got to stay healthy. And while you're murdering zombies, you got you to be sustained. All right. Adrenaline takes a lot out of you. Look for a way to turn the power back on in here. Counted. 
so yeah, you head on. You haven't found anything of note yet. Mm. Uh, and until you get to the point where you can see this red door, there is a rather out of place, clean looking door with a glass framed window in the door. There is a um, there is a keypad next to the door, like an electric lock keypad. Mm-hmm. Um, and as you approach, um, you see a woman. Stand, not you're a short haired, severe looking woman looking through the window and they are like look at you with a panicked look on their face and then they turn and like they like stumble back into the I, I run up and tap and to indicate through the little window like we're we're people, we're not them. And at you see them just go in and turn the um, they actually run down a staircase, mm. but like you hear from your tapping on the window that this is like thick bulletproof glass and that you yeah. you know they wouldn't have heard it. Can I inspect <sighs> the keypad? You can inspect the key. Is it numbered? Or? Yeah, it's numbered. Does it have a, an amount of numbers it needs typed in? Um, no. Can I? It's not that nice and simple. Can okay. I press in mm-hmm. 7544? Four. No. Okay. Doesn't go through. <gasps> what? I'm, I'm like. I've got that written down too. Mm. Really? What was that from? The pamphlet. Uh, pamphlet. You're on the right track. Uh, but there's, it's more complicated than that. I do. I'm like. Mm. On that photograph, it all makes sense now. One, nine, <laughs> eight, five. Explodes. <laughs> have, we check, have we still got that pamphlet on us? And off to your yeah. left, there's a, the, you go up to the... There's a generator. Yeah, they, they were the correct numbers on the pamphlet. But did it open? No, it didn't open. But that's... They are, you're not it's forgetting that. Clue. That was 7544. Yeah. But it's obviously not the answer to this puzzle. Yeah. All right. All right, let's fill up this generator. How it's many cool. um, fuel things... The generator is full. Doesn't require. Fuel. Oh, does it need cranking? It just needs to be operated, and you operate it we with operate. a. Excellent. I'm gonna say a check. Okay. Mm-hmm. We'll go probably a. It's a motor, so I guess ride slash pilot your Ooh. car skills. Mm-hmm. I got nothing. Uh, oof. So that would be four. You okay. only need two successes to operate Great. it. You succeed. <laughs> the generator cranks to life. And, um, yeah, you, the lights flicker back on. Oh, thank God. Fantastic. The Lord cool. will uh, be The Lord gave light. The light. Honey, and the you Lord saw had nothing that it to was do with good. this. <laughs> you just the, did a good job. The Lord right. has everything to do with this. Should we get this? back upstairs quickly? Yeah, let's do that. Cool. Depends well, on what your goal is. Actually, I reckon we should look in the room next door. The relaxation. What's your, like, what's yeah. your goal? Are you trying to look for your sister or... Like, you've well, turned the I power should, on. But sh- I wonder, if she's, plan to wonder now if she's down in here. Or you want to look at more rooms? Well, right, we've, just, we've seen another civilian in here. Shouldn't we go try and okay. help them? There might be more. Yes. I think we've learned that by looking at as many rooms as possible, we find pieces. It's a to, game. Yeah. It's yeah, all right. Let's look in the other rooms. Okay. 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 So where are you headed first? The Back relax. upstairs There's to the conference room? Or the re... <laughs> there is. There is. Little Peter Slap. Rabbit. Damn. How to fly upon his nose. Damn it. Uh, so you're okay. heading into the relaxation centre or back upstairs to the conference room? Relaxation, relaxation centre. <laughs> um, so you press nice. forth. The corridor opens into the relaxation centre. There is two double doors that lead north into the pool room and there is a door off to the left uh, at the very end of the corridor. Scroll up. Yep. Yeah. So you're in that little corridor. Which pool, corridor? Pool room and... Uh, no, no, no. Pool room is... Oh. that. That's the pool marked with the dotted lines. And toilets. So, saunas. And what was the bottom one? Sorry. That's, you don't know? Oh, okay. okay. You haven't gone in there. So are we in that? You're in that corridor, little the middle corridor. corridor. Yep. Let's check out the room to the left. You go left. across the end so of the south. corridor and go to the room south. Mm-hmm. Does it have a label on it? Oh. oh. All right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you enter the room and there is a calming feeling. The door seems secure. Uh, in the center of the table, it looks like a, it's like the locker room. Um, but also a kind of a break room. There's a uh, there's a little vending machine. Uh, there's also a large chest with an extra dimensional space in it and a typewriter with two ink ribbons. I love the idea that we just open the lid to this chest and there's like this <laughs> portal, like <laughs> it's not glowing, just like yeah. oh, yeah. oh, put my empty gun canister. <laughs> and <laughs> it's like a Mary Poppins bag. Yeah. <laughs> if like you poke your head through, do you like poke up into the other room? <laughs> yeah. Like when, no, you just die. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I've got a key card. Yeah. Where was that? It's that still got us into this building. Doors. It's still unlocking doors. Still, it's still unlocking doors. In the yeah. building we're in. Okay. So right. there, any door that's red on the map um, that you've gone through, and there's a few in the conference center, still requires the door. You yeah. haven't got the sense that you no longer require that key. 
Okay, and I still got a butterfly key as well. Yeah, you also. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> and I have a ladybug key. Ah, uh, the ladybug key actually you you can throw away. You have the sense you don't need that. It anymore. fades away, sorry. so you can get rid of that. But the butterfly key, there's still rooms that haven't been All right. locked. So, excellent. Um, is it an encryption? Shall we? Um, is it something? Should we check the lockers? Yeah, you can check the lockers. Is okay. there an ink ribbon? There's two ink ribbons, but they stack. So whoever's got the ink ribbon, you can just up to it. So to take three. one and then we'll... Or you can use it. We'll and use then one. I don't know how two. they work, but I'll write uh, two yeah. yep. and we'll use one. Correct. Okay, yeah. so you, you report, are you reporting this time? Yeah, I'm like... <laughs> we <laughs> found... <laughs> things. Pool room. <laughs> Bing! Police report. And you yeah. have saved. Congratulations. Nice. Yeah. Um... There is. Have you got an ink ribbon on you? No. So, can you, t- in case he perishes, can you take stuff off your comrades if they perish? If anyone dies, we just load. We just what? <laughs> load. Just load. go back to where we were. If we, if oh, someone right. dies, we the game yeah. loads, and then you have. You're <laughs> okay, back so we in don't press. Room. Okay. Because cool. like that's for, that's a game yeah. failure. Yeah. You're all in it together. You're the players. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Right, it's like a game. critical character has died, so the game goes. You know. Yeah. yeah. I don't know lost. if it was permadeath or not. That's all. That's well, it would game. be, but you have saves. Okay. Yeah. So the only time we'll play on if you've run out of saves, if someone dies, is if... Um, it's great for the story. Is if... Uh, no, is if you've run out of ink ribbons. Because then oh. if you lose, you're dead. Okay. All right. Oh, no, that just means you can't save anymore. Yeah. Correct. Okay. If it's appropriate. So we're pretty safe. Basically... We'll see, we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. Yeah. I'll play it by We game. could be like this Groundhog Day thing where we're just trapped <laughs> here for eternity, just keep reliving our own constant death. I ruined my own puzzle. Part one of... Oh. 12,000. Nice. <laughs> I ruined my own puzzle. Well done. I'm sorry. Quick improvise around I wish I could it. edit it. No, I can't. It's fine. Okay. I'll just Sweet. One puzzle down. I'll just change yes. it. We are so uh, smart. I, I've changed it. I've improvised. I shouldn't have said anything. Edit that out. I never fin- ruined anything. It's all meant to be this way. I'm not editing it out. Yeah, I don't. I know you're not. People you need, edit out your people need to understand. <laughs> it's true. Okay. I'll like um, time code. Do I, I paused too have long. a feeling that I should stay in this room? You'll or? be right for a little bit longer. Okay. Well, I mean, if you want to give up, you can give up, but you've got another 20 minutes. Yeah, <laughs> All right. So, yeah, I think sort of we, we should just briefly out of character mention that Jen's got to go somewhere in 20 minutes. But, but we have a plan. We have a plan. Okay. Mm-hmm. We'll get to that later. But in the meantime, Peace we on. feel rested and we've caught our breath. <sighs> Let, let's go relax. <laughs> let's go check yeah, out let's the go pool. To relaxation room. Cool. Yeah. You open the door to the pool. Uh, to your left, there is a pool. There are two bodies floating in the pool. Great. Ooh. At the bottom of the pool, you can see that there is something sunk to the bottom of the pool. It looks important, but you can't quite tell what it is. Against the wall, there is a slot for a um, pentagram-shaped crank. Mm-hmm. And there is a steam room and a sauna leading off. Okay. I'm going to check just really quickly. Uh, if I, can I see these bodies? None of them have got, like, sort of, like, look like my sister at all, do they? No. Okay, well, that's all right then. Mm. Okay. What all are right. we doing? Well, I've got the crank. I've got a crank. Do we do we check the rooms before we the saunas? Yeah, yeah. Check the saunas. Saunas. You take left. I'll take right. Okay. Okay. So you're taking the right one. You're taking the left one. So you do it at the same time. The door opens to this one is actually the sauna, not the steam room. Uh, You open the door and there is a like the hot coals in the middle of the room, and there is a person just face down in the hot coals that's like cooked from the top half of their torso. And I quietly shut the door. And while that was happening, you open the door to the steam room mm-hmm. and a rather rotund, naked man uh, shambles towards you aggressively. I close the door immediately. He pushes through the door and comes at you. Okay, I'll shoot him. <laughs> Too close for comfort. I'll shoot him. Okay, make attack roll. Man, i got to get a weapon. You put him down and his head explodes and he will not be getting back up. I love the thought that these people who ended up as zombies go back to their relaxing activities before their transformation <laughs> yeah. is complete. Like, oh, I've been bitten or something. I'm just going to go back to the sauna and wait until I like, get this out of my system. <laughs> the worst thing is I reckon that someone would do that. Yeah. Um, can I investigate that room? Or is there nothing There's in there? There's nothing in there. Neither of them. They're just Dang it. naked old it's freaking flies. And adding to death. The, the realism. <laughs> it's on your mic, so I wouldn't be surprised if you... <laughs> I thought that was it for a second. Yeah, yeah, I was just so good at it. All right. All right. So. I'm going to leave out this door back here. I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> oh, my God, it's working. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
You can totally come in this way and you'll just go through the door. Oh, no. Here, lean, lean more to your right. Podcast listeners, bear with us. This, this is to... very amusing. Oh, yeah, you perfectly disappeared. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> hey, bye. Hey, come back, Gareth. Gareth, come back. Whoa. Oh. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> that was worth stopping for. Sorry, podcast All right. people. We're in the we, middle we of life-threatening combat. can't my mistake. <laughs> no. Okay. No, okay. the combat's over. You won. Oh, good. So put the crank in the wall? Yeah, we're going to put the crank in the wall and, and I'm going to turn it. And, and the see water what from the pool drains. <laughs> That's Excellent. totally how pool works. Oh, and the, well, it. this one does. There's a yeah. big grate that opens up in the bottom and it all drains down. And then there's a ladder that leads to the bottom. Okay, and there's two bodies There's in two here. bodies that are zombies and they're like, and they stand up. Can are there it, any things around the room, like a pole or something we can fight with? I, I got this. Melee is terrible. You got this? I got this. Okay, she's got this. Pull out my jerry can. Okay. Douse them in you have a feeling that won't work here. Oh, I can't, and I won't do it. Literally, your text goes up in your head. It's like you don't think you can <laughs> yeah, it work here. <laughs> That's okay. something you would apply to maybe a zombie that was on the ground. Yeah, yeah. What the- that is isn't walking the around. No, they're, walk- they're like up now. Oh, they're oh, up now. Oh, oh, right. they were- okay. No, but you got the right idea if they're on the ground. Oh, yeah, I love the idea true. that yeah, it's yeah, her that's sense. The it's her psychic you've, you've sense. I've forgotten that one. That's like lighters, fuel. Yeah. Yeah. Stops them oh. from becoming crimson. Heads. Crimson heads. Yeah, that's correct. right. I so don't know what that is. That's the thing that attacked me. So once it, zombies aren't dead when they're dead, when you critical hit, their head explodes and then they can't come back. Yeah. The other way to stop them coming back is you burn them. Gotcha. Mm, that's what it feels for. I was okay. saying Gareth's got to remember the stuff from the game. Yeah. I All right. Know, so what are you doing? Around. You did know, but they are walking around. <sighs> Who's got I a weapon? Really Anyone got a weapon? On don't them? want to waste any more ammo. Yeah, no, they got what three bullets left. I have three. You've got two. Yeah, one shot left. One shot left. Yeah, is there like a pool cleaning pole or something? No. Uh, there is, except it's like kind of matted into the background, and you don't, you can't really interact with it. Okay. Even though logically you probably oh, right. could, do but they, unfortunately you can't. Do they look like they're able? So to when climb you run up, up against the wall and press yeah, you just yeah. slide yeah. past you it. Slide it. <laughs> do they look like they're able to climb up the ladder, or are they too? No, they limit. won't be able to climb up the ladder. Okay, and can we... You said there's something in the pool. Yeah, there's a glint of light on the oh, item in the middle of the pool. Can we get up there and distract them? Get up? They're, pro- they're, they're probably just going to shamble around. The only way... Even though it's only like a two-meter drop into the pool, the only way down is to climb down the ladder. So it can't jump down. No, you can't jump down. You what can't if, jump at all, in fact. You, if you we, just, this, in this world, sucks. jumping isn't allowed. What if we all go down there? There's two of them and three of us. So they can only attack two at a time. <laughs> You two act as a distraction. I'll run and get the I item. I don't like that idea. No. You could well, try and just dodge You them. got young legs. You could like you could try and dodge them. them you don't have to fight well, them. You could try and run past what them. What if we? The what if, are pretty big. What if one yeah. person got stands? We've got a bit of space. One side and then like distracts them, or is that not going to work? It will. That will be. I'll allow an assist roll for someone who's doing something down. With if you do okay. that. Okay. Mm. Fine. 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 Just who's who's running? Who's distracting? What? I'll cover you up here. You're gonna need the torch light in the pool. <clears throat> mm-hmm. You're not All coming right. down with us. I'll run. I'm, I'm you're still gonna run. On the top. I'll run. You okay, just, so you're you distract, distracting. You I right. light them. How are you gonna distract them? You climb down into the pool. How are you gonna distract them? What's what? You climb, role meaning you ha- Noah's climbing down. Noah climbs down into the pool. Isabella's climbing Isabella down. Isabella is well. standing on the ledge, trying to get their attention, okay. and you're covering it with a torch. Right. Yeah, yeah, the other side of the pool. Yeah. Okay. So I'm being what quiet. What skill are you going to use to distract them? <laughs> cake! I throw a piece of cake at one of the zombies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to start awesome. yelling at them. Just like, okay. hey! Uh, what stat would you like to use? That's what I was really asking. De- survival? Deception? Uh, persuasion. Maybe. Persuasion? Persuasion, yeah. Persuasion. Make a persuasion check. Uh, challenge level. Oh, well, it's assist, so it's just three. It's just what? It's an assist roll. Okay. So just go for it. To what? To a combat roll or? Yeah, to whatever Gareth's doing. I've got oh, five points. Gotcha. So he's Stealth gonna too. he's gonna sneak through. All right. Oh. Three successes. So you neither help nor hinder. They basically ignore you. But now you make your check. Now these are slow zombies. You're only going to need two successes to sneak through. Is this reflex or? He can sneak. use stealth if he wants. To. I got stealth because you're I shouting over there. Five. He can slip around. But otherwise, you could go a, like a reflex check. Yeah. Probably athletics to like dodge through them. Or well, acrobatics would be like. Well, I've got bouncing. five stealth and four athletic. Go okay, stealth. stealth. Sneak. Stealth. Yeah, you can stealth. So how many do I? How many you only need two successes. Level? Challenge level two. 
And you Two. get yeah, we're good. You sneak across to the pool, pick up the item, and slip out the other side. What is the item? You see, it is a plastic and taped shut case of projector slides. <laughs> God damn. Okay. You knew that was vitally important enough Can't to risk your life. I wait to throw them at a zombie. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. We've got that. So we're getting out the pool. Let's go rest and recover in that room for a few minutes before we head out <laughs> back upstairs. Okay. So you go rest and recover. I think we use an ink ribbon. I think. Oh, you're going to save again? You just didn't. You just say. Yeah, like but we got use new ribbon. items and stuff. And yeah, go for it. Use an ink ribbon. You got one left. Yep. Uh, Isabella has a strong compulsion to go out and have a smoke outside. <laughs> You're addicted, so. Yep, yep. So Isabella walks out of the Sorry room. Sorry, guys. I'll be back. All right. Bye-bye. See you soon. Be safe. Take oh, care. I can take care of myself. There's usually ink ribbons in the safe room. Just yeah, there were two in the safe room. I look at Isabella so and I say, two in the other one and two in this one. Okay. So, so you've so now saved. Three times yeah, out of the four total ink ribbons. So you got oh, one damn. left. Okay. I look at Isabella, and before she heads out, I say, Hold on a second. I know we don't get along all that well, but there's something I want you to take with you. And I reach into If it's a piece of cake, I, I don't take- want it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I smirk, and I pull out a little prayer book, hand it to her. These might, uh, these might help you out in these trying times. I like take it with like two fingers and like, the thanks, it's a wonderful sentiment. Open yourself up to the, uh... Yeah, I'll open myself up to something and I just walk off. All right. That's well, just us. I've done the Lord's work here today. You, you <laughs> shamble it's upstairs. Just us now. Yeah, you head upstairs <laughs> and you go outside and light a cigarette and stand out there. And then from behind you, as the bartender bursts over the counter and runs towards you with its claws sprinting across the alley uh, towards you. Crimson Crimson head. Smoking kills people. (laughs) What do you do? In my try. Okay. Can I use the jerry candy? It's not too late. They have to be on the ground. I'd shoot it. Preble. You shoot it. Get out of the preble. You need four successes. (laughs) Just throws it. (laughs) How many successes does she need? Four. Four. I just love the idea that as she walks you out... You get three. Three? And I can't use the ammo because I'm shooting with it. You use all the ammo. You don't have any extra to spend. So you just fire three. three rounds. It leaps on you and like gashes you and throws you to the ground. It's now on top of you. Mm-hmm. Uh, you take one injury. Mm-hmm. And you have no more ammunition. Keeps and going. you have no more weapons. Yep. Its head lurches up. And Isabella, what do you do? Do you drag one more drag on your cigarette before it rips your throat out? I just wait. Try and throw it into its eye. <laughs> and you throw the cigarette, it bounces off its head. Actually, no, no, no. I'm, if I'm going to die, I'm going to go out with a bang. I'm going to try and... you got fuel. Yeah, it's I can't useless. grab it. I'm going to try and, like, yeah, try and get the cigarette and try and burn, burn it in its it. face. You yeah. s- stick the cigarette in its face. It just sizzles against skin. The mouth opens and... Ah, comes down on you. And then there is a spray of blood, of like hot, a uh, cold, claggy blood. And you're not dead. Yo, oh, get off of Miss Goddamn! And then a knife gets stabbed repeatedly into the neck of this crimson head, oh. and it slumps on top of you, and then gets thrown off, and you see the raggedy form of Harold, the <laughs> Vietnam War veteran. Standing over you, covered in blood. Oh, oh my God! Good thing that Squeaky told me you were in danger. Oh, the hell was that thing? Was an alien, wasn't it? (laughs) I kind of stand up and like try to compose myself. Have Have you been bitten? Yeah, twice now. Yeah. Um, and in the in the scuff, he didn't save you. You did get bitten. Uh, I'm gonna say you actually uh, quite hurt. Um, so like three you're four. three out of five. Uh, and, yeah, he, he actually picks, like, helps you up to your feet. I don't know what the hell is going on here, from the shoulder. but I want out. Hunt, oh, what about your friends? Look, they can die down there. I don't care. Can you get me out of here, please? Uh, hun, uh, I don't think you should be... If the, the aliens are out finally then I gotta I gotta get him back I owe him one okay 
I'm gonna go stay somewhere safe until this is all done and we can all just leave. Why don't you why don't you rest in my uh, in my office? Sounds great. Cool. I'm gonna go help your friends. Is there anything I can take off your hands for you? <sighs> sure. You know what? <laughs> Any supplies. Take this. Cool. Um, I'll give him the jerry can. Full inventory. <laughs> yeah. No, she's keeping a lighter, I reckon. Um, oh, yeah. He wouldn't and have the a lighter cigarettes. in his. No. No, no, I'll keep the cigarettes and the lighter. You've got a lighter, but lighter in, have, the, in the stash, though. He can have the jerry can. So he takes the jerry can. Is that all you've got? That is all I've got. And oh, he, he can have my 9mm. It's not and got And the mind. empty pistol. He yep. takes it. Uh, and he helps you over into his office. And then he heads down to meet up with you guys. However, in the interim, Isabella is wounded and destiny roll. 14. 14. Starts to feel a little bit sick. Don't you have a green herb? I've had it already. Oh, you ate it already? Yeah. Um, but you Uh-oh. look across the room and you also spot that there's like a button to activate the gate. Oh. What do you do? I push it. The gate opens. What do you do? Remember, were you the one that searched that victim and found the car keys? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You have the car keys to a functional car and the gate is open. <laughs> and Oh, you gave away the car Oh, you told me to drop car. the keys. No, you didn't o- open a car with those car keys. I think they yeah. just... What, what car did you open? Because it was the... Oh, the glove compartment. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, but you... I go for the car's, the car's unlocked yeah. and the keys are oh, next to the car. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Oh, so you're going to stay in the room or are you going to go to the car? I'm going to go to the car. All right, so Isabella wanders over to the car, gets this is, in. I think this is what she would do, yeah, yeah. Gets in. Turns the key. Mm-hmm. And that bitch. <laughs> drives off. Cool. I bet you that's the only functioning car. <laughs> and um, I feel I'm going to roll another I feel like there's something going on here. Uh, another 14. I'm okay, dead. so it's not 100%. too bad for you. Isabella goes off. There's a swipe quite pallor to your forehead, but you sort of drive out like, fuck the fuck drive out the front gate, uh, bump, bump over it, and the gate automatically shuts behind you. Um, and then the car <laughs> turns the corner and drives off back to Raccoon City. Back oh, to Raccoon City. Oh, man. That's there where we we're going. Yeah, you made it. That's the end of that. Yay. Oh, I thought, you were, I thought someone was going to get you in that car. Meanwhile... Well, I mean, she's been bitten and she feels sick. Jeremy, come here! And she's going back to Raccoon City. Meanwhile, we're in the save City. room. Oh, uh, good. Noah <laughs> and Hank hanging out. Uh, just quick swap seats, quick. Something's happening. Something's, Something's happening. happening. Bye, Jen. Thank you. Bye. Well done for escaping, Isabella. Bye. She's going to go to her day job. <laughs> oh, God damn it. You still haven't died in any episode. <laughs> <laughs> come, hey. on, come on in. You're not Isabella. Your name You're Harold. is Harold. Hey, Harold. Hey, Harold. Oh, you're oh. the Vietnam guy. So, Harold, you just came in and saved <laughs> Isabella's life. by sta- You were sleeping drunk in the office and you heard a, a scuffle. You ran out, killed a zombie. She, and you put her, she got bitten, but you put her to rest, like to recover in your office. Confident that the aliens have finally, finally attacked because that Hi, was Jen. the zombie. Took her um, you then headed, uh, you then headed down to meet up <clears throat> with these guys downstairs in the relaxation center of the conference building that you're not very familiar with. Um, you you left Isabella, but unbeknownst to you, Isabella then opened the gate to the facility, got in the only functioning car that you guys had keys to, except the patrol car. You've got your cop car. Uh, drove out and five Destiny Row actually reversed into the cop car while she was driving out. <laughs> oh, God damn, um, Isabella and smashing into the radiator, and there's now smoke coming out of the front of the uh, cop car because she didn't have any ride or pilot or <laughs> driving right. skills. Then she drove off, and the gate shut behind her. Wait, I've still got my car. You do still have still The, the, still cop, the okay. cop car penned your car in. All the cars are fucked. <laughs> Great. Great. Cool. And you're headed downstairs and we'll pick up in the next episode. Yeah. All right. Mm. So Jeremy will be taking place for part three of three. Uh, but picking Ooh. up the NPC. This is the patron this NPC. This is the patron NPC. So now we've mm-hmm. met Harold before yep. in episode, one. was it one? Yeah. yeah. No, no. You met, you met him right at the start of oh, episode yeah. two. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. This yes. episode. This episode. So that's Harold, the Patreon NPC. And it's obviously eventuated that we uh, needed to adjust in game to well, Jen adapt had to, to real to life. Jen had to go. And the session was going well and we're all enjoying it. And it's gone longer than we thought it would. 
So we're going to finish the story and the Harold is here to, to slot in with us. It's great. So and we've always promised anything can happen with Patreon. I feel like we need to shout right? out our wonderful patron who yeah. helped to make this with you because you've worked with them. Saga, Saga Lost City, is that how it, No, Saga Lost City. Saga, it's Sagacity, Sagacity Lost. Lost. I always say it wrong. You say Sega Lost City. I don't know. I, there's some we, I'd read names backwards. And yeah, they, they made it. And they went. we had a great process together, but they also went so far as to make a character sheet. Which you don't have to do. A yeah, lot of the times, they will stress that it's up to the place how whether that NPC is going to get much interaction, mm-hmm. um, in, and it really depends on how things go. Sometimes they might not get too much attention, but in this case, the fact that there was a character sheet means boom. Yeah, hey, Jeremy. Yeah. So hey. we will fill Jeremy in on the plot yeah. and the character's personality, and we will pick up. Oh, he's read the backstory. Oh, he's story. good to go. Awesome. Yeah. Well, let's leap into it. But for you uh, watching this, thank you for watching and listening on on our podcast. Uh, but we will pick up in a, in part three of three next week. See you later. Bye. Bye. Oh my god! <laughs> so that was scary. This is a scary, scary one. I peed myself. You can... I'll edit that out.